All right, so what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a little something different. Uh, we're gonna try it out and see how you guys like it. But today we're gonna give you little tips and tricks on how to grow your Instagram, Facebook, business, any kind of name you're trying to make for yourself. We're gonna grow that today. So stick with us right after this. this audio is gonna be awesome because I invested in a new microphone so hopefully it doesn't pick up a lot of nonsense but I'm gonna leave a video of me driving around town in the corner of this video so that you have something to watch and it's not just me rambling on you can also watch the background of the drive itself that way you have something to keep you busy because I, I know these talks can be kind of boring here and there and I'm hoping the uh, cam and all that stuff doesn't get picked up by the microphone you can actually hear what I'm talking about but what I, we're here for today is to talk about something called marketing now marketing is one of the best tools you've got to grow your business to grow your YouTube channel your name just to get everybody to know it outside of the channel uh, to get more subscribers followers or to get more sales so there's different ways of going about it. You can do it free or you can spend money because you gotta pay money to make money. So what I did to grow my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, um, Facebook, all that stuff, what I basically did was I marketed myself by um, all these different ways. And I hope some of these ways will help you guys and getting bigger and better and I want to see all of you grow as well. So let's start with the free stuff because everybody loves free. You don't have to give anything to it. It's just a matter of your time, your effort, and your energy. So a good free way to do to advertise yourself is to, of course, go out in the community and introduce yourself. Let people get to know you. Let people really like talk to you, get to see you because just being a YouTuber on a channel is great but it means so much more if people can actually see you in person and actually get to know you and see that you're actually a real person that cares about them. So even just a simple, like walking up to somebody and telling them, hey, good morning, how are you? My name's JR, I got this uh, Sensor Camaro channel, you, you mind checking it out? Just something as simple as that is marketing in itself. And it's a great way to get yourself noticed, get your name out there. Now, you're not gonna get subscribers right off the bat people aren't going to go flock to your channel because you asked them to some might some might not but they're not going to subscribe to you unless you get the good content so make sure to have good content for them to come to before you start uh, doing all that um, another thing that is really good as far as marketing um, of course all the big youtubers do it it's kind of hard to do as a small youtuber as I'm finding out myself but uh, a good merch line I mean just having a good merch that lasts a long time that isn't expensive that anybody and everybody can get to because you never know your uh, subscribers could be going out to these car shows they could be going to uh, cooking events or whatever and they could um, be wearing your shirt your hat with your logo on it with your name on it so it's a very very good way of getting your name out there without actually you having to do it yourself the more people you have supporting your channel and actually buying the merch, the more people are going to see your name. Therefore, they're going to come to your channel or come to your website. Um, you could also go the extreme route like I did and uh, incorporate it in a wrap. So when I first started doing the wrap, I just had the idea of Sinister Camaro. I never really anticipated to have a YouTube channel and do all this other stuff. But I have an awesome team like DreamWorks to uh, work with me and put up little by little like the, uh, the logo on the back of the car. So everybody riding behind me can, it catches their eye and they look for it. And they're like, oh, they got a YouTube channel. I need to go check that out. So it's a super, super good way of getting people to notice. Now, if you do like a simple Instagram logo on the back, you just put your name on the back. It's not really gonna draw many people in. I've even had very little effect on the graphics on the car as well. I've had my logo, my Instagram name on my truck and I've met a couple people because of it. And if you're watching this, I do appreciate it. But 
um, it's not going to get the results you expect. It's not going to make everybody that drives behind you want to go to your channel or buy something or go to your channel and subscribe to view your videos or anything like that. It's going to get their interest for sure and the right people will come to your channel. And if you have really good content, that's going to drive even more people because then they're going to tell more people about it. Hey, I saw this guy in traffic. He has this whole sinister rap. He has all this Instagram logos and stuff and I followed him there. He has some really good stuff. You should check him out. So that's word of mouth. Word of mouth is the best possible thing that you could possibly have. In the olden days, that's all you had because you didn't have the internet. But today, I mean, it still means more than anything because you have people that are well respected in the community. If they say that you're a good channel, then guess what? Their followers are going to go to your channel too. So it's just a matter of who you know to get that word of mouth and get it out there. Now, something I've been wanting to do, but I'm not too sure if it will work or how to go about it or how much it's going to cost. But I've never seen a YouTuber with a billboard on the side of a highway with their logo and their channel name and all that stuff. I really want to do that just to see if it actually helps get people to the channel. Um, it's really out there. It's these these different kind of techniques to like just draw people's attention to get them there is one thing, and it's probably the it, it costs a bit of money to do. But once you get people interested and your name and your brand, your logo starts getting seen around town, around the country, once people start to take notice of that, they'll start to flock to your channel. Like, oh, I've been seeing this logo all around. I never knew what it was. Let me go check out this channel and see what he's got, what he's all about. That could generate subscribers. That could generate sales. That's definitely uh, something that I've also been doing myself is just trying to draw people to the channel. I mean, a lot of people, they're not gonna really like the stuff that I do, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, we're people. We're just human beings. Not everybody's gonna like your content. Not everybody's gonna like what you're selling. But just getting that word of mouth, somebody's gonna like that. So definitely check into doing some, uh, um, some reconnaissance with all that. Another way to invest and to, uh, to invest your money are definitely Google ads. like. Google is a part of YouTube. It's a, uh, Facebook has their own ads. Twitter has their own ads. You also have Google AdWords where you can um, use your website and draw people in with that. I've actually been using that since the start of my channel to uh, draw people in from uh, Google searches onto my YouTube channel. So the more I post on there, they'll start seeing that branding. They'll start seeing that, uh, that skull, that logo, and they'll be associated with it and intrigued, they want to come check it out. Again, it's not going to, basically it's not going to tell you if you're going to get like 100 subscribers if you invest $100. It's not how it works. Ads are basically there for getting your name out, getting the word out about your channel so that people will check it out and more people will talk about it. That's the main thing. So you got to pay to play and you got to invest in yourself in order to get anything out of it. So. Depending on how much money you want to invest, it's totally up to you. But I do suggest that you work with some kind of mentor uh, that is actually really good with ads because there's a lot of demographics, there's locations, and amongst other things that you can get the real nitty gritty and actually reach out to specific groups of people who like the age group of 21 to 25, you can do that. If you only want 21 to 25 year olds on your channel, that are in America, you can do that. You can even get nitty gritty as in going to different cities and states. I mean, it gets really complicated and you really don't want to spend like $100 a month on ads if all they're doing is just getting being seen and you're not getting the click that you need to get them over to the channel. If they see the logo, that might count as revenue subtracted from your, um, from your ad pretty much so definitely get somebody who knows what they're doing with that I personally I'm just kind of tinkering around with it learning myself but I really wish I had somebody that knew that actually knows what they're doing with it so they can tell me the right and wrong way to go about certain things to get the kind of result that I want because there are people that are really freaking good with those things and but a lot of them just cost so much money to deal with so it's either you learn by yourself with other YouTube videos or 
maybe you have an uncle or friend that knows a lot about it, definitely hit them up and uh, see if you can get any kind of help with that. If you really want to spend the money for it, there are a lot of companies out here that actually do like the full wraps on cars and they actually pay you like a certain amount of money for driving distance and all that. So if you have like a basic car and you want to um, wrap it, you reach out to these companies. They have like websites for these, uh, for these places, for these wraps. They'll basically pay for the wrap and on top of that, they'll pay you for the distance that you drive. So you can basically make an extra like $300 a month. All you have to do is just drive to from work drive around town any of that they will pay you to advertise for them and you're just a big billboard that drives around for them i mean that's what the sema trucks do that's um the sema cars and trucks i meant to say so that's what the cars and trucks from sema do that's why you see like big logos on there is because they're advertising for them and in return they're getting discounts or free products from said company to represent them with their top of the line model stuff so that's another good way. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That's all I've got for you today. If you could smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. In the comments below, if you don't mind, give me some tips and tricks for other entrepreneurs. Like what exactly would help a channel or a website grow outside of the ideas that I gave? Like what kind of ideas do you guys have, do you guys use that you know actually help you to gain sales, subscribers, views, whatever you have it. Just uh, let me know in the comments below, and as always, stay sinister. And one more thing before I leave, and I hope this picks up because I don't have the microphone on. That's for all you people that love the sound of the car.